you may tell your friend, those actually, if your friends are there, that they do not, you know, uh, they do not join the class. So for everyone's sake, I have just have written this syllabus. So this is, oh, it should be size 66. The mother at 66, okay, it's, it, it, it becomes, I have just typed it, mother at 66. It, it should be SIX, 66, okay. An elementary school classroom in Islam and uh, a third level. So these are the syllabus, okay. <coughs> so, and the question, 20 questions will come, all will be MCQ. And uh, four options will be there against each questions. One questions, four options, you will have to choose, you will have to choose the correct answer against this question. And the date for this exam, you, it will be intimated to you uh, today, tomorrow, anytime, it will be intimated to you. So, this is the syllabus, five chapters, three prose, that is the, uh, the last lesson, the lost spring, and third level. Third level is from supplementary, from this book and two poems that is mother at my mother at 6 to 6 and elementary school classroom in Islam. So this is the syllabus for uh, 20 marks of exam. Okay, I feel you have understood about this. Yes, Jibranso is what he wants to say. Okay, sir. Thank you. Now, uh, let me start that last day we just completed uh, up to this that so far he typed, uh, I am reading from page number 38. But so far he typed and then he opened a secret drawer. Actually, uh, our doctor, Dr. Sadao, when uh, the white man was uh, getting well, now Dr. Sadao decided that he should tell this all, the whole, whole incident to the chief of the police. And with this uh, intention, he just went into his office and he started to type. Okay, he started to type uh, the whole matter. And he typed uh, two lines, and but but he he actually lacked the courage. He lacked the courage uh, to send it to the chief of the police. And after typing these two uh, lines, he just kept it in his secret drawer and did not say anything. On the now afterwards, let's start. Page number thirty-eight. On the seventh day after that, two things happened. On the seventh day after that means after he just typed this letter but he did not have that courage to send it to the chief of the police. So after this incident, after seventh day, actually uh, two things happened. In the morning, the servants slept together. They are having three servants. They cook, the gardener and Yumi. In, uh, in the morning, the servants, they slept together. They actually resigned from their job. They told that they could no longer be able to serve Dr. Sadao and Hana. Their belongings tied in large square cotton kerchiefs and they actually tied their belongings, all they had, in a, in a cotton square kerchiefs, just like large handkerchiefs. When Hana got up in the morning, nothing was done. The house not cleaned and the food not prepared and she knew what it meant on that evening, uh, on that morning when Hana actually got up from sleep. She found that nothing was done. The room was not cleaned, the food was not prepared, and she realized that what does it mean? She realized that the servants were now going to leave. She was dismayed and even terrified, but her pride as a mistress would not allow her to sew it. She was distressed and she was very much terrified. She was very much scared. She was afraid of this because she realized if all the servants would resign, if all the servants would not do their work, if all the servants would not stay in their house, then how she could manage? Because she was totally unaccustomed. She did not do any household jobs. So how she could manage all these? She was very much terrified, but she did not express her feeling because she is having the dignity as a mistress. Instead, she inclined her head gracefully when they appeared before her in the kitchen and she paid them off and thanked them for all that they had done for her. She did not express, she did not show her expression of fear that she was terrified. Uh, instead, she actually just inclined her head in such a way and she actually did not express anything and she had just paid them off. And she also had, gi she had given their wages, she had given the money they were used to get for their service and even she thanked them for doing their service, for giving their service. Now, 
they were crying but she did not cry yes they were crying because the servants also did not want to leave the job but but what their master had done they could not accept it so they could no longer actually stay in that house so they were crying but she did not cry the cook and the gardener had served sadao since he was a little boy in his father's house and yumi cried because of the children the cook and the gardener actually they had been working in the house since the time of sadao's father so they they are very old servants the cook and the gardener still they had left their job and they were in tears and uh, actually yumi was also crying because yumi had a great bonding with the children she used to look after the children uh, she used to look after dr sadao and hana's children and she was also crying she was so grieving that after she had gone she ran back to hana so afterwards when all had gone afterwards uh, actually uh, Yumi was crying so much so she came back to Hana again after crying if the baby misses too much tonight send for me and she is telling after coming to Hana she was crying badly she told Hana that if the baby misses me too much tonight send for me and she told Hana that if the baby misses me why not because see Yumi used to look after the baby I am going to my own house and you know where it is and uh, she had come and told Uh, she had come and told Hana that if the baby misses me, if the baby cries tonight, please call me. I am going to my house. And she told Hana that you know where my address is. Where where do I live? Now, she made the breakfast. Sorry, thank you, Hana said smiling. Hana told Hana actually bid thanks to Yumi. Thank you, he said uh, smiling. But thank you, Hana said smiling. But she told herself. she would not send for yumi however the baby cried but she did not tell anything to hana but she decided that however the baby cried however the baby if the baby cried for the whole night then also he would not she is not going to call yumi okay because this is the dignity as a mistress she made the breakfast and sadao helped with the children yumi made the breakfast that that day because so far she did not uh, do this work at all but she made the break breakfast of that day and sadao helped her uh, with the children neither of them spoke of the servants beyond the fact that they were gone and uh, here the husband and wife they did not say anything but they only actually uh, they they only discussed about that the servant had left afterwards they did not discuss about this matter but after hana had taken morning food to the prisoner she came back to sadao now hana actually after preparing this breakfast hana had gone to the room and she fed the food to the prisoner and afterwards she came back to sadao why it is we cannot see clearly what we ought to do she asked him now she came to dr sadao her husband and asked these why we cannot see our future clearly even the servants see more clearly than we do why are you different from other japanese now this question came to hana's mind why because because of that white american they had to suffer all this problem you know she did not know what the who the american was she had given shelter and because of that american all the servant had gone now uh, hana this question came to hana's mind and hana was asking this to sadao that why we cannot see properly what we should do we don't know what we should do when other the common people the servants could understand that what we should do why we cannot understand this she is asking this question and she is asking why we are different from the common japanese because the common japanese always thinking that they must not give shelter to their to their enemy but they had given the shelter to their enemy so why we are thinking separately differently from the common japanese this question were put to uh, dr sadao by hana <coughs> sadao did not answer after listening all these sadao did not answer these but a little later he went into the room where the prisoner was and said brusquely here brusquely means in a direct method direct method directly now after few moments sadao actually went to see the white man where white man was in that room and he said brusquely brusquely means in a direct manner today you may get up on your feet i want you to stay up only 5 minutes at a time tomorrow you may try it twice as long now after going there sadao told this to 
the white American, that that day he might stand on his feet and next day he might do it and, and stand on his feet for five minutes. Next day he might do it for twice, means five plus twice, ten minutes. He might stand on his feet. Now, it would be well that you get back your strength as quickly as possible. And Dr. Sadao told this to the white American that it would be good as soon as you would get back your strength, it would be good. Why Dr. Um, Sadao told? Because after uh, listening all this question put by his, husband, by his wife, Dr. Sadao had already decided in his mind that whenever the white American would get well, immediately he would hand over him to the Japanese police. That is why uh, here Dr. Sadao told the American that it would be better that uh, tomorrow you may try and it would be well as you get back your strength as quickly as possible because he had already decided whenever the man would get well, he would hand him over to the Japanese police. He saw the flicker of terror on the young face and was still very pale. Uh, the face was very pale. Uh, you know, it's not so uh, looking very pale. The, still, the man was recovering. It's not recovered well now. Okay, the boy murmured. Evidently, he was determined to say more. But afterwards, he told he was very much determined to say something because the other day we discussed when the boy was uh, <coughs> actually about to tell something about himself. You know, when the boy was about to tell to do the doctor, the doctor forbade him to tell. The doctor stopped him that time. But today, the boy was determined. Today, the white man, uh, American, was determined to say something. He told, I feel I ought to thank you, doctor, for having, having saved my life. Now, the man was actually expressing his gratitude. He was showing his gratefulness to the doctor. He told that I, uh, I ought to thank you, doctor, for having saved my life. Don't thank me too early, Sadao said coldly. Sadao told, no, 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 don't give me uh, thanks too early because in his mind it is there that he is going to hand him over to the police. He saw the, fl now, he saw the flicker of terror again in the boy's eyes, terror as unmistakable as animals. Here the terror that was visible in that uh, man's eyes, it has been compared with the terror, these are usual in the eyes of the animals. Suppose when an animal is taken to a butcher, okay, and a butcher cuts it, okay, a butcher kills the animal and uh, cut its meat for selling. Now, if the you know, animal can understand that uh, where he was going to take, uh, where, okay, where, where he was going, uh, where actually uh, it had been taken, then um, uh, out of terror, the animal could not express its fear, but from the eyes, the fear become visible. Here also, as if the, the white American could understand that as I had been given shelter in my house of my enemy, something bad could be done to me. But what is it? He could not understand. That is why he terror was there in his eyesight. Those, now, the scars on his neck were crimson for a moment. See, as having a, the man is having a scars here just on his neck under the ears. Okay? It became crimson meaning of flicker here a flicker means a part a slight part okay flicker a part of uh, terror you know uh, that a flash flash could be flash if a message a flash of terror now i feel yes it, it should be flashed so i feel i ought to thank you that told now, what were they? Sadao did not ask. Actually, Sadao saw that his, uh, the scars, the marks that is there in that, uh, in that part, okay, under his uh, eyes, in that part. But uh, Sadao did not answer But how, the, how he got this mark. In the afternoon, the second thing happened. So, this is the first thing. The first thing is that, that uh, the servant had left and uh, Hana was very much unpleasant. And Hana asked this question to Dr. Sadao and Sadao met with this American. In the afternoon, the second thing happened. Second thing happened. Hana working hard and on unaccustomed labor. Unaccustomed means with which uh, she was not accustomed. With which she was actually, uh, it was not her habit to do all these things. This is why, uh, see, with which she was not habituated. That is unaccustomed. We know that all the servants used to do all the work, so Hana did not do all this. 
but as the servants left their house, so Hana had to do all this. So that is why it has been told as unaccustomed labor. Now, when Hana was doing this, he saw a messenger come to the door in official uniform. He saw the messenger come in official uniform as if he was wearing uh, the dress uniform of a police. A messenger come, okay? Uh, in uniform, a police. Hana saw this. Her hands went weak and she could not draw her bread. Seeing that messenger in uniform, Hana was so much terrified as if she could not breathe properly and her, her, her hands became weak. Okay? She could not breathe properly. The servant must have told already what she had thought. She had thought that this morning only the servant had left their job, the servant had gone outside and going there, the servant might have told everything that Dr. Sadao had given shelter to an American. And for this, the man wearing that uniform, probably he had come to arrest Dr. Sadao. That Hana thought this. And that is why Hana was so much terrified, uh, just licking that man. The servant must have told this. He ran to Sadao, gasping, unable to utter a word. Here, gasping means panting taking heavy breath, panting, okay. And she ran to Sadao, and she could not, unable to utter, utter means to pronounce, unable to tell anything. But by then the messenger had simply followed her through the garden, and there he stood. And when Hana actually went to Sadao, the messenger also followed her. And whenever Hana came in front of Sadao, Hana saw that messenger was standing just at her back. So she could not tell anything to, uh, to Dr. Sadao. Now, by that, the, by, uh, by, but by then the messenger had simply followed her through the garden and there he stood. She pointed at her helplessly. Now, uh, when Sadao came in front of, sorry, when Hana came in front of Sadao for telling that a messenger had come, a police had come in uniform, he could not, uh, she could not tell anything because she saw that the messenger had come and was standing uh, at her back, okay? So she could not tell anything, whatever. Now she pointed at her helplessly and uh, just pointed Sadao, that she who has come. Sadao looked up from his book, Sadao was reading a book. He was in his office, the other partition of which was thrown open to the garden for the southern sunshine. Actually Sadao was there in his office, the office was adjoining and from the outer part, from the, that side of this office, anybody could go to the garden and the door was open because of that southern sunshine. Southern sunshine means sunshine when the, uh, actually uh, sunshine when the sun was going to set, okay, during late afternoon when the sunshine comes. What is it? He asked the messenger and then he rose seeing the man's uniform. So when Sada was reading, he just asked the messenger, what is it? What is it means? Why you have come? And he saw the messenger's uniform. That messenger had come from that Japanese police. So he stood up. You are to come to the palace, the man said. The old general is in pain. Earlier I told the Dr. Sada was uh, the personal doctor. Dr. Sada was personal doctor of um, uh, army general. That is why, of army general. That is why the messenger told this to Dr. Sadao, that you are to come to the palace, palace where army general lives, because uh, the man here, uh, palace, the old general is in pain. Actually, that day the old general had a heart attack, okay, heart attack, and the old general was feeling the pain. That is why the messenger had come to call Dr. Sadao, because Dr. Sadao is, our person, is his personal doctor. Oh, Hana breathed. Is that all? Hana was standing by that side. So when the messenger told this to Dr. Sadao that you had to come because old general was in pain, at this Sadao, Hana was very much relieved. And she told, oh, is this? And she relieved. Oh, is this all? Is this all? Actually, this came from Hana. All, the messenger exclaimed, is it not enough? Actually, Hana was so much terrified because Hana thought that uh, messenger had come to arrest Sadao. But when the messenger told that he had only come to call Sadao for the treatment of the old general, then, the Hana, uh, then Hana was very much relieved. And at this, she told, oh, is this all? At this, the messenger was surprised. Is this all enough? Is, is, is it not enough? 
Indeed it is, he replied. I'm sorry. Now, actually the messenger did not understand why Hana told this. Because Hana felt very relieved. And uh, of this, that is why she told about this. And then she told the messenger, but yes, indeed, I'm, I'm very sorry, I'm very sorry. Now, when Sadao came to say goodbye, she was in the kitchen, but doing nothing. Now, the messenger had gone and Sadao had prepared himself to go out to see uh, the old general. And after going uh, from his house, he came to meet with Hana to bid goodbye to, to Hana. Now, uh, messenger, uh, sorry, Dr. Sadao saw that uh, Hana was in the kitchen. She was sitting there doing nothing. The children were asleep and she sat merely resting for a moment, more exhausted from a fright than from work. Yeah, fright means fear. Now, Hana was sitting there in the kitchen, but Hana was very much exhausted. Hana was very much tired. Not because of the work, but because of the fear. Because she was so much terrified, she was so much terrified, she thought that the messenger had come to arrest Dr. Sadao. And this spirit thinking actually made her mentally weak. There, there it is stated that uh, exhausted from the fright. I thought they had come to arrest you, she said. Now, uh, Hana told this to Dr. Sadao that I thought they had come to arrest you, uh, Hana told. Uh, he gazed down into her anxious eyes. The hu husband looked at uh, the anxious eyes of the wife. I must get rid of this man for your sake, he said in distress. Uh, your uh, get rid of means avoid, avoid. Now, uh, actually, the husband realized that uh, uh, his wife was very much anxious. And he told that I must get rid of this man for your sake. Get rid of means uh, the husband told that I, I must do something else so that I can avoid the man, okay? He said, it, somehow, I must get rid of him. I will have to do something so that I can avoid this. Now, Sadao goes to see the general. And after telling this, Sadao went to meet with the army general. Understood so far? Do you have any question? Anybody is having question? Nobody is having Okay. Okay. Now let's start. Now afterwards, what happened? I have understood. Thank you, Jivanansu. Now, <coughs> Sada had gone. Sada had gone to meet with the army general. Of course. Now and after going there, Sada had told everything. Okay. Now Sada got this opportunity to tell this all to the army general. So Sada had told everything to the army general. Okay. He had told everything to the army general. Of course, the general said weakly, I understand fully, but that is because I once took a degree in Preston. So few Japanese have. Preston is a university. Now, when Dr. Sadao had told everything to the Japanese uh, army general, the army general was very happy. Though she was very weak and told, yes, I understood what he told. And I only understood because I had a degree from Preston. Preston uh, University, uh, so few Japanese have. And the army general thought that uh, very few Japanese have this quality like him because he had a degree from Preston University. I care nothing for the man, Excellency, Sadao said. But uh, having operated on him uh, with such success, now Sadao was telling, yes, uh, Excellency, he was, he was telling this uh, army general, he's the chief of the army in Japan. So, Japan, so, um, uh, Dr. Sada was telling, uh, telling, uh, or, uh, telling him, addressing him as Excellency, that Excellency, I, I care nothing for the man. Actually, I do not care for the man, but uh, the operation that I uh, did, I performed, it was a successful one. Yes, yes, the general said, as if the general became happy. Yes, it only makes me feel you more indispensable to me. Indispensable means inseparable. That cannot be separated. Means you become very much necessary you become essential for me. Okay, evidently you can save anyone, you are so skilled. So whenever the army general heard that uh, uh, Dr. Sadao had operated the man and the man was survived, the man was saved. At this, the army general was happy and uh, he told Sadao, actually praised Sadao that you are so skillful that uh, you become so much essential for me. Okay, essential for me. You are so skilled, you can save anybody's life. 
I can answer. You say, uh, you say, you think I can stand one more such attack as I have already? And I, as I told that that day, the, uh, the army general had a attack, heart attack. So beforehand, Dr. Sadao had told the army general that if he had more than one heart attack, then he could not save him. But only one more attack he could save. Not more than one, Sadao said. So uh, army general asked this to uh, Sadao. What you told? What you tell? That uh, do you feel? Uh, the army general told that what you told to me. Army general told Sadao that you told me uh, I can stand uh, one more such attack. Attack means heart attack. And Dr. Sadao told yes, only one such attack you can stand, but more than one you cannot. Okay, up to this today. I feel you have understood. If you have any queries, ask question. Ask question using your e-portal. Okay. And next day I have already told you the syllabus. <coughs> next day again we will uh, continue the chapter. Not far is left, but we will continue with this. But it's for today, it's uh, goodbye.